What's up people, Mr. Blackout here. How you doing, how you been? Day seven, my friends. Day seven, hardcore. Okay, I'll turn. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? He's crawling. Is, is, is he alive or what? He's crawling, <laughs> yeah. We broke, we broke his legs. Dude. You got him, you got him. <laughs> yeah, first kill. <laughs> well, first mini weapon kill. <laughs> Uh, there's gonna be more. Oh, zombie coming for me. Oh, I'm coming! Uh, ah. We do this together! Oh. What? Oh my yeah, god! He, in. he really wanted me. There we go. Yeah, he did. You're bleeding oh, again. Again. Again? What? <laughs> and I'm thirsty. <laughs> oh my god. You got those weak veins. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die pretty quick on this place. Yeah, we need to get you a uh, blood bag or something. Get your blood back up. Yeah. Speaking of which, that's what we need. Actually. Oh man, it'd be cool if I could. Should I test my blood really quick? Let's see what I am. Let's see what blood I am right now. I am O positive. I can't remember if that's good or bad. <laughs> o positive. Okay. Now I need to find another one so I can test his blood. And then I could actually put blood in this bag for me and give it to him. Oh, man. Hello! I gotta go. One second. Alright. Hello? Hello. Behind you, bro. Uh, okay, hey, I gotta go. Let me check your name uh, with the pill. How, how you do this? Uh, um... Here, I'm gonna okay, type it. Okay, just Henry. Yeah, just Henry. Alright, uh, I'll know if you're logged in next time. Okay. It was uh, it was a pleasure man. pleasure to meet you, Kirk. Thanks for the travels, man. Yeah, it was. Thank you, man. Have a See good you. one. Bye. Yeah. You too. Man. Gonna miss Kirk. Lone wolf style. Hello there. See what I mean? People are out in the deer stands. People are surprised to see people out in the wilderness. The deer stands bring people out to the wilderness. Gods are feeling generous. Maybe we'll find a PU in here. The elusive PU scope. Might be someone camping in here as well, so... They'll definitely hear me coming up. It's empty. Some hunting pants and compensator. Man, ever since that crack across my head at the deer stand, I've been so paranoid to stand anywhere near the deer stands and, and these, in case someone's looking at them. And plus, I mean, I saw someone across the way at one, so it's not like they're not being visited regularly. P 
people have really caught on to the fact that if you really want your scopes and your rifle attachments, this is where you come. Kind of want to take a look across the valley over to Gorka. There's actually another deer stand right across the valley. Which we can take a look at, see if anyone's over there. Take a look into Gorka. These binoculars are so underrated. So underrated. Get yourself a pair. Look at that. That one's pretty popular just because it's out in the open and easy to see. I'm sure I'm not going to get shot in the back of the head here. Gorka on the main road. Don't see anyone running across the fields. There's another, there's a bunch of deer stands over in those trees right there. There's actually one right there. You can see players up to, I think, 1600 meters. I'm not sure if that's like on, if that's the correct number. It sounds about right. I don't know if anyone knows. I don't know off the top of my head right now without going in and looking. But I think it's around 16, 1600 meters you can see people. Do you see anyone running through the trees though? That ultimate goal really is to find a friend to go west with. I don't really want to go to Gorka right now and, and go further west without finding someone to travel with. And I find going to Gorka and further west is becomes very squad player-ish, you know, three or more players in a team is not a rare thing. And so it's almost suicide as a lone wolfer to move west by yourself and expect to survive any sort of encounter. I'd much prefer have someone by my side that, hey, if I die, then at least I'm trying to protect someone other than myself, you know? It's, I don't know, it gives you more meaning to live in a weird kind of cliche, cheesy way. But it gives more meaning to your character. More fun in the adventure. I think we'll move up to Dubrovka here. We'll move north to Dubrovka, um, which Dubrovka is not that busy, although it's just inland from Berezino. Actually, we can almost see Dubrovka from here. It should be just down here in the valley. Oh, there it is. So that's Dubrovka. We'll move down into Dubrovka. I don't expect to see anybody and pick up a friend. Um, and if we don't, we'll start moving towards the coast again, uh, just a little bit further north. Um, yeah. We'll see where this takes us. I'd love to pick up a friend, though. Feeder number 20-something. No! <sighs> Another compensator. It's like the 50th one I've found. Ah, uh, DZ gods torturing me without this PU scope. I guess I'm I'm a glutton for punishment because I keep asking for it for each feeder and each deer stand, so... The logic of asking for it means you're not going to get it. You've got to look for the opposite, right? That's like one one time in Daisy have I asked for something and it actually happened. I mean like something in oh tree. <laughs> something important though, you know? Like I remember the challenge accepted video I did a while back and it, it happened on live stream. And I found a Mosin and I could hear the snipers shooting off the top of the apartments. And I find a Mosin and I'm just like I look at the Daisy guards and I'm like, dude, Daisy guards, please. Give me some ammo for this Mosin. And the very next vehicle I check is a pickup truck, and this is when stuff still spawned on the pickup trucks. And I find a five round clip in the back of the truck. And then proceed to load it up and find the sniper coming down the apartment as I'm going up the apartment and get into this really intense moment of Mosalina in the hallways of an apartment. Oh, the memories of this game, man. I freaking love it. I love the memories this game creates. Nuts. 
Amazing how the amount of hours that you put in actually changes you as a player depending upon the situations and scenarios that you've got your characters into. I, if I think about two years of how I've evolved as a player and how I approach different situations now because of things that have happened in the past with characters, and it's like you learn by experience, no doubt about it. And sometimes I may come off as like really cautious and people don't understand why and it may be because of a situation I went through that's similar that seemed totally cool at the time and then I got screwed over or something. And so even though this situation seems totally cool and I'm being sketchy, um, it's because of something that happened to me. And then there's other times where I'm overly friendly and people are like, dude, you're way too friendly there. And it's because I can read a situation because of something else that I got into. You know, it's it's weird how the experiences just roll with you as a player. And each time you get into something, and each time something concludes, you come away with a new experience and a new lesson, usually. Or at least that's how I've treated it. And you'd think that you're going to run out of different lessons, but... <laughs> There's so many different people out there that you just never know who you're going to run into. Or what kind of lesson you're going to learn. <laughs> yeah. Take some beans. I haven't eaten for a minute. We've been just running our asses off to get into Dubrovka. I had the discussion with my friends like multiple times about the third person camera, you know? And for me, really the only true enjoyable benefit of it is just being able to take screenshots of my character and what he looks like next to stuff. And I know it sounds cheesy, but it's true. <laughs> but as far as the gunfights are concerned and as far as just being immersed in the game, first person perspective is amazing. And it really does drag you in more, I feel. Although, like I keep saying, I do like looking at my character. One of the few benefits of a third-person camera. Camera. It takes away from gunfights and stuff, as far as I'm concerned, with the disadvantage of being able to look over stuff and you not being able to see behind as they can see over. Feel like this is more even ground, man. Oh, that dilemma again. I saw some comments on that day saying I should swap it out and put the press vest down and pick up the chest holster because you think it looks better. <laughs> I agree though, it totally does look better. I've got a... Oh, I left it in the... Um... Sorry. Fumbling. I can't, see that's the problem is you can't put the pistol with the flashlight. I know, I know, I know, I know, you don't even need a flashlight because it's not... But still though, I like my flashlight. I'm keeping it. Plus the press vest has saved my ass I don't know how many times. And I've already gotten used to it at this point. So, yeah. Sorry, chest holster and badass look. I like my press vest. Oh my god. Uh, this is why I don't use numbers, because they don't always work. Is it just him? Oh, uh, he doesn't see me. Oh my freaking butt pucker. I think it's just him. Uh, how, man, I thought I was gonna go unconscious there. I, I don't know how many times he hit me. I felt like it was more than once. Uh, 
Where is he? There he is. He's inside the shed. I'm trying to catch my breath here so I can take a straight shot. He's running away. Running up the hill. I don't know if he's running towards this house. Oh, there he is. I don't know if he went in the house. I don't see him going up in the trees. I think he's by himself. I can't believe I survived that. I thought I was going to go unconscious. And then I tried to whip my shotgun out and my number wouldn't work. So I had to do it manually. The numbers are temperamental. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I think it might be something to do with like pressing multiple buttons on the keyboard. I'm like sprinting away and you know. I don't know. I don't see him in the windows of the house right now. I thought he went in one of these houses. I didn't see him run up into the trees unless I just didn't see it. I lost a little bit of color, but I'm not too bad. I'm thinking the press vest might have saved me. Don't see him in the windows. Where did he go? I don't understand where he's gone here. Have I just missed him glancing by somewhere or... I'm confused. See, I was afraid to jump in there straight out the gate, you know, until I saw what was actually happening. I, I, I mean... Obviously, I was caught off guard completely, no gun in my hands. But I didn't know if there was more of them. I didn't know if there was another one going to rush to you. So, the last thing I want to do is like stand there trying to shoot a guy and get shot by another guy. So, But it seems like it was just the one, and I don't know where the hell he's gone. Just sort of poofed. This is like the last building right here on the outside of town, so it could be in here. No footsteps on the floorboards. I don't know. I mean, I thought I had a good view of him. I di didn't see him. Maybe I'll look back at the footage here and, and see some dude running off in the distance. I don't know. I've, I've done it before. <laughs> it's all like where you're looking on the screen at the time. Sometimes I'm not looking in the right place. I don't know if he was if he was easy to see somewhere or running off. I thought I had, you know, I thought he'd be in those houses and he wasn't. Kind of damaged. He didn't wreck my jacket, which I'm really surprised. And my press vest didn't get completely ruined either. Um, the pants, nothing got ruined in the pants. Oh, they're actually badly damaged. I thought they were ruined, which I'm lucky because he shot the pants that I didn't get a leg break. But I don't know why the pants didn't get completely ruined right there. It sounded like a 9 mil, right? Was it a Makarov? I don't know, I can't remember. I was like, it was all a flash. It happened so freaking quick. All right. Well, we don't look too bad after an encounter like that. I'm slowly kind of getting my color back. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. Running without a weapon out. Sometimes it's worked to my advantage, and sometimes it works to my disadvantage. Oh. Okay, I wonder why I couldn't get my shotgun in. Well, sounds about right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Daisy Guts. Bot pucker galore. Well, my friends, I do hope you enjoyed day seven of the hardcore series. Today, we almost died. Again. We had to say goodbye to Kirk, for now. 
And, well, a quick question to you guys. Do you think I should carry my gun out in town or leave my gun on my back? Leave your comments. Oh, by the way, we're naming the Glock Spock. So good. A lovely long time. Adios, my friends.